tiny hoverfly. Isn't it beautiful? So beautiful. Deciding which St. John's wort it's going to go to. All the bumblebees are bumbling around in it. Look at that. They're loving it as well. It's so beautiful. This is not the wild one. This is a cultivated St. John's wort. It's uh, wonderful seeing the development of this area. I've only really been cultivating it for four years. This, these steps and this area, we built in 2020, 2021. So I have, look at this beautiful purple clematis climbing up there. And the geraniums and all these plants. Look at them. It's really flourishing. It's so wonderful when it all comes off what you'd intended. My time, flat time, is just spectacular. And look at that lavender. And the agapanthus are about to come out. Look at that. They're magnificent. I love agapanthus. 
and then my uh, Bishop of Lundruff. I've put them in a tub, you see, so I can take the bulbs inside. Next year, uh, that will be tulips. It's going to rotate between tulips and the Bishop of Lundruff and this canna. But I'll take them in from the frost before, um, so they don't get killed. And then all this lady's mantle with more agapanthus and another white thyme and a pink thyme and red clover and feverfew. Look at the wall flower, the uh, rock roses. Now I'm really pleased with how this is turning out. It really, it's taken, this is, how many years is this? This is, yeah, four years. Four years. Okay, the wisteria is a lot more years than that. The wisteria is about 12 years. Oh dear. Cat fight. Those two brothers are at each other. Oh, Java has been going to be peacekeeper. No, maybe he isn't. Maybe he's decided it's better not to get in between siblings when they're fighting. And of them, it's just ignoring it all. Isn't that right? Yeah. This was an experimental tub. These funny pom-pom things. And this white stuff. Don't ask me what they are, I don't know. And there's my Farming with Nature plaque. But that's an experimental tub, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that I'm really happy with. Continuous titivation, as they say. And then around this corner, all my pots. And my wheelbarrow of ferns. And these are about to bloom. They're rather shredded by the slugs and snails. But the fever few is doing its thing. And then these are plants that I rescued from a friend's place. And this one is about to bloom. I'd rescued them and I didn't know what they were. So this is about to bloom. So that's kind of exciting. Was there a bee stuck in there? Oh, there was. No, it wasn't a bee. It was a hoverfly. A beautiful hoverfly. Isn't it a beautiful hoverfly? Look at those stripes. They don't sting. Hoverflies don't sting. They might look like bees or wasps, but they aren't bees or wasps. So, he must have just emerged or something. He's having a bath. A cleaning up bath, potentially. You're a lovely creature. You're a pretty person. I don't know if you're a boy or a girl, but you're a pretty person. Look at this beautiful spider. She's got a big egg sac, or rather she has a big egg sac. So I'm bringing her out to this uh, long grass so she can hide in it. I use these, sometimes those are really, really cheap in the pound shops. And I use them for labeling plants. They're wooden picnic things. So, go on lady. There you go. Now you're in your natural habitat with her egg sac.